In today's video, I 3D scan parts of the car, and it's really awesome. Let's go ahead and get started with this video. God bless you and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. So in today's video, I'm going to be using this Creality 3D scanner and unboxing it and showing you all of that. Now, I don't have anything major to scan, but I am going to try to do some stuff uh, like my trophy. This is a second place trophy I got in the car show. Yeah, it's kind of hard to believe, but this spray cam paint job got a second place trophy. Um, and I just kind of want to scan it and see how it turns out. I'm also going to scan my head uh, just as a test to see how detailed it can do and some other things like that. I'm going to try to do the car. I think it'd be really cool to get like a 3D scanned back bumper of the John 316. For the ones that don't know, that's a brake light that lights up. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, and any that believe in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. And that is the good news of the gospel of Christ. So I think that'd be really cool. Maybe even do like the wheel or an interior piece or something. Um, it would also work good for like a vent if you break it. Uh, you could actually take this out, 3D scan it, and then 3D print a high temp one out of polycarbonate. And that way you could actually replace the part without having to hunt down hard to find parts. So the possibilities are pretty endless when it comes to these 3D scanners. And uh, I think it'd be really cool. So I'm going to stop talking about all of that. And we're going to go ahead and just open it up and see exactly what came inside. Also, if you didn't see, I got a really cool Rust-Oleum cup. Uh, it was at one of our local events that we have here. And I'll try to find one and link it in the description if I can. I think they're really cool. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and open it up. As you can see, it has a nice little case here. And of course, a user manual, which is really good when you don't know what you're doing. Everything is in there. And a gel packet. And of course, we've got the piece that you can actually put this on a, uh, well, on this. It's a power bank. And you can screw it on just like that. And then you can actually put your phone in here. And then you can hook this power to your phone and then run this through an app, but I don't have an Android that's compatible. It only works with certain operating systems, and I have an iPhone anyways. But it's really cool that it comes with all this stuff, and it will be linked in the description. Um, but it has a power bank, so this is actually a power bank. It's really cool. And it's got this little adjustable piece here, which is what this piece will sit on. So this will just screw in just like that. Then this actually slides in right through the top. Then you tighten it down. Going through here, we have cable for computer. It's already labeled, so that's really good. And this is the cable for the recharger handle and smartphone. It even has a little picture on how it's set up. Pretty simple to understand. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this to the computer, download the software, and then uh, we'll go from there. So hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. Okay, we moved into the house where it is air conditioned, which is nice because it's so hot and humid in that garage. Um, and we got the software set up and I did a few scans or attempted to on the winner trophy using this little turntable and it just didn't turn out right. So I tried to manually scan it, but uh, it's too shiny. So one of the problems, too shiny is definitely an issue as it stated we are just testing to see how it does then I decided to do a scan of my head which was very interesting I didn't want to do too thorough too long of a scan so I just did a quick scan it takes a few minutes for it to save and mesh and all of the color mapping but it is really cool because it gives you a high definition um, scan so it definitely does good details uh, tinier details I didn't think it would from that distance but it did pretty good so overall I'm impressed with it but the real question is can it scan car parts so that's exactly what I'm going to try to do right now so I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff moved and we're gonna try to scan this oil breather that goes on your oil cap so we're gonna see if it can scan this in detail so I'm not quite sure how to do this one. Um, I don't think it would be very good to just scan one side, but I can go ahead and attempt that and see how it does with just the one side. 
Um, obviously, if you want a full scan, you'd have to do one side, scan the other side, and then mesh them together, which I don't know how to do that. I'm not very good with all the, you know, the softwares and all that stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and I guess we're just going to scan this one side. All right, so we've got it on the turntable. I'm going to go ahead and hit the start. Doing this extremely slow, so it can try to get it as thorough as it can. I'm not even moving and it's just flashing back and forth from green to red. It did say it was harder to scan some smaller things, but I didn't think this would be too small. It's just kind of awkwardly shaped. I think that's why it's having such an issue with it. Overall, it's not doing too bad. Now, I'm not scanning this so I can replicate it. It's just an example, just so that anybody was wondering. It's not why I'm scanning it. I'm just using it as an example. We're going to go ahead and go back. I'm sure the more things you scan, the easier easier this kind of stuff would get, but I haven't really scanned much, so I'm not quite sure if that's just a user error or if it's just something buggy, but I'm pretty sure it's just a user error. Overall, this thing's definitely nice. I'm not quite sure how to rate things like this, but five out of five, I would say this is a four out of five because it seems to be pretty simple to use. And the more you use it, I'm sure, like I said, it would get a little bit easier. But it could also just be something in the settings I didn't click right or something. But that looks good. Um, this should be good enough, at least to get a front scan done. I'm gonna go ahead and stop it and we'll see what happens. Okay, so this is what we've got just off of that little scan. Again, it's broken up pieces. Could have been just my fault. It's like, I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I'm sure there's a better way to scan it. But overall, it does give you a good idea. And you could actually scan uh, the other side and mesh these together in a program. Um, I can't remember the program's name, but it's used for 3D printing stuff. Um, so yeah, you could definitely do that and probably get a more in-depth scan and then actually measure things with a you know, tape measure and put those details in the 3D program when meshing these together and actually 3D print an actual size item. So pretty cool. So now we're going to try something that it says it's not very good at and that's to we're going to try at least doing the back bumper or maybe a wheel or something out in the garage. So we're going to go out there real quick and try that. Okay, so I'm going to start at the wheel. Now I have to take the whole laptop and everything. So if you have an Android phone, uh, this would be a lot easier for you. Just put the phone in there, connect it, and you're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and try this real quick. You will see what is on screen uh, as I scan. So we're going to go ahead and get to it. Seems to be doing all of this pretty good too. I could imagine doing this to a whole car and then scaling it down and putting it in a 3D program and actually making a 3D printed version of your car. So that would actually be really, really cool. Now that it's hitting some glossy spots, so that's kind of why it keeps doing that tracking thing, but it is definitely scanning it. That is awesome. So I got enough there. We're gonna go ahead and do the back bumper and uh, see how that turns out. 
All right, so here's what we got from that scan. Wow, that is absolutely awesome. I'm thinking if we did a really in-depth scan, we might actually be able to do that, uh, making a whole model, 3D model of your car. So that's really, really good. Go ahead and look at it without color. And that's what it would 3D print, everything you see right there. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, definitely really awesome. We're definitely going to have to do the back bumper now. All right, here we go. So for the ones who don't know what John 316 means, sure, most people know that God so loved the world he gave his only son. Those that believe in him will not perish but have everlasting life. But what does that even mean? Why does God need to give his son as a ransom for us? Well, because we're all sinners by nature through Adam and Eve. And we are separated from God through our sin. And it says in the scriptures that the wages of sin is death. So the free gift of eternal life comes through Christ who gave his life up. He came down off his throne of heaven and came in the flesh to die for us. So God the Father no longer sees your sin. He sees his son. For those who believe in the finished work of the cross through Christ Jesus and his sacrifice. Jesus died, rose again three days later, conquering death, defeating death, and now... He has the keys to eternal life for anyone who believes in him. All we have to do is believe in our heart and confess with our mouth, like Romans 10.9 says, and we will be saved. So that is what it really means. Because the wages of sin is death, we were separated. And we die one time, but if we are without Christ, who is the propitiation of our sins meaning the atonement, he atoned our sins, he justified. Justify had never sinned. So he took our spot. Every person who would ever sin in Christ, now God no longer looks at us and sees our sin. He sees his son who covered us with his blood. So now when God the Father looks at the cross, he sees us. But whenever he looks at us, he sees his son. I hope that makes sense and try to break it down. But this is one of the best things. That's why it's called the gospel, the good news. The good news is we were sinners and Christ died for us while we were yet sinners. We were his enemy and he died for us. The people who spat on him and whipped him, those people, Christ died for as well. So that's good news. I figured I'd uh, take this time to explain it while scanning. But uh, yeah, this thing seems to be scanning awesome. I clicked large object, so this is definitely a lot larger. The problem I'm seeing is all the reflections and shiny spots. So I'm going to let this uh, do its thing, and then um, we're going to go and see what it looks like. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. If you are, please consider subscribing to the channel and checking out my other content because I have way more than this. All right, so this is what we are working with. Uh, you can't really see the John 316, probably because the light is on. If I had it off, it probably would have been a little bit better. But you can see that 3D scan, not bad. Get a little bit better lighting in here and get the shine on the paint job to go away. They have things for that. And this would have scanned even better. I'm really impressed with uh, how this thing scans. It's really good. So that is it for that. So I guess it goes without saying that I really like this 3D scanner and the possibilities are pretty endless. So I'm definitely going to try to do some more stuff with this in the future once I get the 3D printer and all that set up once we move because if you didn't know we are moving. Uh, I have a lot of stuff out here so I haven't really been able to do much out here. The neighbors complain anytime that I do anything with the car. So we're moving uh, far away from those neighbors so that they can't complain anymore. And uh, hopefully this time we'll actually have a shop. We're actually buying this time, not renting. Um, we're going to clean all the floor up and stuff like that before we move out. And we have a lot of other stuff we have to do. So content hasn't been flowing and I apologize for that. But I did want to say this will be linked in the description if you want to get one or check out the specs for yourself. Um, definitely works really good. I mean, you can see that pretty well. And if we go to no color, you can see that's what it would... Uh, 3d print 
which is pretty cool. Obviously the window had a reflection, so it's not going to pick that up very well. But the John 316 did come up perfectly fine um, when it's in this mode. So if you see that, I'm going to zoom in more for you. That actually says John 316, so it's really awesome. So I'm really impressed with it. I think it works really well. And uh, I'll definitely keep you guys in the loop when things change. Uh, whenever I am scanning more stuff in 3D printing, maybe some car parts or some custom trophies for a car show or something. So I think it'll be pretty cool. And I'll definitely have to do more with it. Um, also, for the people who are wondering about the John 316 steering wheel from Bull Boost, this giveaway will be uh, coming soon. We are just waiting for a little bit more views on it so I know it reached more people. So if you guys could, please go over there and share the video so as many people get a chance to win this. Totally free to do. And uh, I already have one in my car. If you didn't know that, definitely check out my other videos. I posted more. Um, so yeah, uh, that's basically it for this. I just wanted to give you guys a video showing you this awesome 3D scanner and get you some more information as to what's going on, why I haven't been posting and stuff like that. As soon as someone tries to start doing something good for people, the enemy comes up and tries to put a stop to it. But Romans 8.28 says God works things for good for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. So I know I have a calling for him and I plan to do more charitable work for others in the future. In this house, this ain't it. So we are going to be in Texas still, probably about four hours north of here. We'll be above Dallas-Fort Worth area, but we're going to be still in Texas. So we'll figure out all that when the time comes, and I'll keep you guys updated on the move and everything else. Um, so a lot, a lot of irons in the fire, let's put it that way. And uh, we owe it all to God. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. Definitely check out the other videos. We've got tons of them on the channel, and there will be more as soon as possible. So uh, if you guys could just keep us in your prayers, I'd greatly appreciate that. That's more than any donation or like button could ever do. Um, and I just want to say thank you guys for following along and continuing to support the channel, even though the content isn't flowing as much. But once we get moved, the plan is to have a ton of videos. So definitely stay tuned. If you guys want to see more, please check the playlist that I've made and uh, subscribe. But before I get off here, I just want to leave you with this message. I just want you to know that God loves you so much. He sent his only begotten son and anybody that believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. And that is the good news. The gospel of Jesus Christ is that we were in our sin and in our transgressions. And Jesus took all of our sin onto himself, who has never sinned before. And he was sin for us. He became sin for us in your spot. So now when you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus was rose from the grave three days later, conquering death, according to the scriptures, you are saved and he clothes you with his righteousness. And when God looks down, he no longer sees your sin. He will see his son because on our own, we cannot work to get to heaven. We are not saved by our works. No one is. A good work would be uh, feeding the homeless and the poor. That does not save you. Those things are required once you have a relationship with God. You're going to want to do them. You're going to feel very generous in helping people. And that's why I'm trying to help you right now. Because a lot of people deny the scriptures because they were church hurt. The church did that. That was not God. I want you guys to know God loves you. He is using me to reach you right now. So just repent, turn away from your sins, believe in the finished work of the cross. Because when Jesus said it was finished, I believe he meant it. He was taking this so serious, he died for it. But he is alive today, and all you have to do is call out to him. I love you guys, and I just want to let you guys know this message. It is good news, but there is a time when you will not be able to find him, so repent turn away from your sin and turn to him now because that day I feel like it's coming soon. So I just want to let you guys know there's a way out. Take it while you can. God bless each and every one of you and always remember this. God bless, stay safe, stay awesome. Jesus loves you.